The K3O Large Gaming Mousepad with Stitch Edges is a cost-effective product. For the right user, it can be a great product to buy. The dimensions of this mousepad are 120.1 by 59.9 cm with a thickness of 0.3 cm, which is a great size to hold different devices and was one of the reasons I wanted a big size version. The weight of the mousepad is 1.5 kg, and for those who will have to pay for shipping, it comes rolled inside of a package with these dimensions. The usable side comes with a texture microwave cloth of high density according to the manufacturer, which is like a soft nylon type of fabric that is soft to the touch and will not scratch your other devices, notepads or agendas, but it's not super slippery so nothing will easily fall out of the surface. I couldn't find any crease or wrinkle on the surface. Over this video some are present because I'm constantly moving and rolling the mousepad. It also has a solid stitch frame which so far stands really great and as you can verify, is pretty solid while it's soft to the touch. Even when I rest my forearms in this area, I don't get any discomfort and there is no damage or wear to the frame so far. The bottom is made of natural rubber and also comes with a pattern that helps to keep it static over the surface. I test this personally. The surface where I work is made of polished granite, which I also like to keep really polished. I was hesitating if this was going to stick to the surface, but it worked perfectly. Also, it's not abrasive. It will not damage the surface where you place it. You can see it's just rubber. I found a review that said that destroyed the surface of his desk. Well, it seems a bit exaggerated. One of the reasons I liked this one was the lack of any brands or logos. I have the black one, which I think is pretty elegant. But I found three other versions, a world map design, one in full leather black, RGB black, and the black one I have. But these two models were not available on the K3O site nor this extended size version. This size I was able to find it only on selected sites from 59 with shipping included to 35 plus shipping. Check which seller is the more convenient for you because I found that the trick here is the shipping price. The product itself is not expensive. This mousepad for regular users will allow you to move with ease, no issues with perfect tracking. I only tested it with optical mouses. This clarification is because while doing the investigation, I found one review that claimed that with the Apple mouse didn't work. Well, I wasn't able to prove this, but I can expect anything from Apple. Now to be more technical, I will tell you that this mousepad has a control type surface, which is great to work with precision mouse features like video games first and third person shooters, point and click, etc. Or design software, video editing, animation, modeling and of course regular applications. The words here are precision and control. Now for those users, mostly gamers, that need a fast surface with minimal friction, probably this is not the mousepad for you. Now talking about temperature, I use a gaming laptop, which means it can be hot sometimes. And I thought that the temperature could damage the surface but that was not the case. Now, according to the mousepad manufacturer, this was processing a 110 Celsius high temperature and high pressure chamber to ensure long-term use without deformation and degumming. Well, after six months of use holds good so far. Another aspect is that the surface maintains a constant temperature. Why did I make this comment? Because since I rest my arms over it, I was concerned that the fabric can make you sweat, especially during summer, but it didn't happen. And since I work over a cold type surface, I didn't want to be in contact with it, especially during winter, and it provided that isolation. So they got my approval there. About the waterproof feature, I don't plan to regularly spill stuff all over it. For what I want and the type of careful user I am, works perfect. But I tested it anyway. I spilled water over it, and with a paper towel or dishcloth, you can easily dry the surface or make it slip out of the mousepad because it doesn't get wet easily. Now, it doesn't absorb water, but doesn't expect a hydrophobic surface. It's just what you saw. It's important to know that these tests were made after a profound washing I did on the mousepad. We will talk about that later. So there's no protective spray or something that will wear out. It really works, as you saw. So far, every feature has been really positive. But in my personal experience, there's only one thing that almost made it a deal breaker. And this was the odor. I'm really allergic to any fumes, oil paint odors, etc. And this mousepad has some rubber odor that I couldn't tolerate. I did some review checks to see if it was because of the brand or cost. 
But to my surprise, I found that large renowned brands have these issues too, mostly on large mouse pads. All of them mentioned that this smell goes away, including K3O in an email I received after I got the product. But due to my allergy, I couldn't wait. Probably this happened to any other users. I found a solution. And I hope this helps also any other user, even if it's with another brand. Because finally, I kept a mouse pad with no odor so far. If you're not interested in the solution, just skip to the next chapter. I must warn you that I went a little too far with the process in order to be sure I never had to repeat this process again. First step, place it in direct sunlight over one side for 24 hours, then 24 hours on the other side. The key here is the UV radiation rays from the sun, so the more direct light, the better. Second step, Wash the mouse pad with liquid detergent and warm water. Be sure to clean it on both sides using a sponge or soft brush. I suggest you do it twice. Now, in this step, I cheated. I was not sure if this was going to work and I couldn't resist the odor to wash it by hand. I did what almost any manufacturer recommends you not to do. I threw it in the washing machine and I used warm water, of course, never hot water, and I added detergent and disinfectant the one with flowers fragrance. For the third step, repeat the step one and let it dry for one entire day per side exposed to direct sunlight. I also sprayed with odor neutralizer each side while I kept it in the sun. So after two days, one day per side, voila, the odor was gone. There are no rules on how to do regular cleaning apart from common sense, but I don't recommend the use of regular paper towels or cleaning towels because they will leave lint all over the surface. I use these antibacterial wet tissues these are lint-free, non-abrasive wipes that gently remove dust, dirt, and bacteria. I pass them all over the surface and it's more than enough to keep it clean. I also regularly vacuum it when I do house cleaning to keep it dust-free. These are the recommendations that apply to all different brands. They don't recommend you to use the laundry washer or dryer, nor the dishwasher. For any other profound cleaning, just use liquid detergent and water. To be honest, I was surprised to see how many people complain about the cleaning process. During the investigation, I found complaints mostly because it showed dust too easily. But others deserve a special place in this video because I couldn't believe what I was reading. From people that complained because their mouse pad was sticky. A safety recommendation. To one that nearly lost his wrist. Reading people's reviews is probably the funniest part of making these videos. I found a few real issues like wrinkles and creases and how the seller sent the replacement, so in that aspect, it seems that they have a good response. But this is only an online investigation. Fortunately, I didn't need to contact customer support. However, they will send you a follow-up email, at least from Amazon, requesting information about your satisfaction with the product and a notification about the odor. And that's all I can say about this topic. Now, if at this point you are still hesitating, these are some of the other options I checked before buying mine. I'll leave here the list so you can check them out. I hope this info helps you make the best decision. Finally, I wanted to thank all the new subscribers, support comments, and likes I received in my previous review, The Gerber Time. I'm glad that the community found it useful. More videos are coming, so be patient. If you like any of my videos, you can always support the channel in any of the ways shown on the screen, which helps me to keep producing quality content. This video is not a sponsor and is based on my own experience. I think you can guess that by the type of video you just saw. I'm Rash, and I'll see you on another Remental video.